Welcome back again, Power App Enthusiasts, to the Power App Tutorial channel. I hope you all enjoying building with the Power App platform. And I want to say uh, good luck to the current Power Up participants. I know you guys are about to round up this current series, so good luck to you guys. Today, we are continuing with our Power Up Challenge walkthrough. And we're going to be focusing on a question from our fellow Power App enthusiast Mr. Biodun as you can see on the screen. Well before we begin remember to hit that subscription button add that notification bell hit the video thumbs up if you learn something new or if you like it and also um, I want to add one more thing feel free to share the videos okay if you have friends that you feel that they would benefit from watching the video feel free to share it. All right, let's get on with the video. So Mr. Bedwin says, great video. Thanks for taking your time to do this. There is a requirement to mark an animal as ready for foster once they pass their medical requirements. And I was hoping you would cover that as I have been struggling with creating a relationship between a medical pass column with yes or no data type and a shelter status options. I'm assuming that's ready to foster etc data type can you help with this please now this was two weeks ago so i'm not sure if mr abiodo has actually accomplished this requirement but if he hasn't um this is the right place to be and you can also go ahead and do this by yourself if you wanted to there's a i left a link in the, my reply so i have a uh, notepad of what are the requirements so we're going to create a new column for medical past and it's going to be a yes or no column and if the column is equal to yes we're going to update our shelter status to ready for foster and that's going to be a requirement okay so if you guys are ready let's jump into our solution and start building this so we are in our animal solution and the first thing we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to create a column. So let's go to our tables, open our animal info table, and go straight to columns. And I'm just, I'm just going to go straight to new column. And I'm going to name this column medical All right, so I named it medical past for the display name and for the description, I put trigger shelter status to ready for faster on yes. And so this is gonna be a price column. We're gonna pick yes or no for the data type. And for the behavior is gonna be simple, required, you can leave it as optional. Everything else looks fine, hit save. And after that's created, let's just go ahead and add it into our form. So go straight into the form. Go straight to the main form. And we have two places we can hide this. We can put this. You can put this right here. Or you can put this up top here. I'm just going to put his medical pass up right here. And while we're here, um, let's go straight to components. And I want to show you a quick little trick on choice columns. So because it's a choice column and it's a yes or no column, there's, there's a trick where you can actually turn it into a toggle. So you just make sure that's out there and then click toggle. So go straight to components, go to inputs, and go to toggle. And we're going to pick our new field that we just added. And you can choose to have this show up in web, mobile, or tablet. I'm just going to leave that all of them on and then click. And then it's to turn that into a toggle. So this is going to be our toggle. And for this one, you could just delete the original one. And then save and publish. Okay, so when that's complete, let's go back to our solution. 
And this is where we're actually going to start creating our workflow. If you want to learn more about workflows, you can go into, you can go to the text here to learn more about workflows. But um, the short version is this. There are two types of workflows. Um, so you could either have an asynchronous workflow or you could have a synchronous workflow. Asynchronous workflows are mostly going to be like power automate flows. And then for synchronous workflows, which is what we're going to be doing today, we are, you're talking about a one-to-one -one workflow. So something is going to change based on a trigger, right? So it's going to be a direct trigger. And that's what we're going to be building today. So it's a one-to-one -one flow. And so once you're in your all, go to new. And we're going to go straight to automation. And for automation, we're going down to processes. And for processes, we are looking for workflow, the last but not the least. And for this workflow, I'm going to name it. All right, I named it uh, Medical Pass S Flow. And every workflow is always attached to a certain table. So let's pick our table, which is going to be our annual info table. And then uh, make sure you uncheck this. And you're unchecking this so you can have complete control over your workflow. That's the reason for unchecking that. And leave this as blank. And then just click Create. I need to take you to like the legacy view of our Power App. And it already has um, our process name there. So Medical Pass S Flow. And for our requirements, if you remember, our requirement is we are trying to make sure that if a medical pass field says yes, the shorter status is going to be changed to ready for foster. So we're not really looking at trying to create a new record because we're checking a field. So I'm going to uncheck this and then I'm going to look for a medical pass field by going here and clicking that. And once you click that, you will see two options pop up for you automatically is either going to be before or after let's just leave it as after and select our field this is the medical pass field and click ok and once that's done let's go straight to the next thing we have to do um, leave this as it is um, the user who made the changes to the record that's fine leave that as it is next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a step okay so select this role and click add a step and the first thing we're going to do is check a condition so like i said we're trying to check if medical pass field so let's just type we're trying to check is if the medical pass field is equal to yes so it says click to configure click on that to configure it all right and right here click on select we need to take you to the table first so we're selecting the table and the next thing we're going to select is our field the medical pass field and then we're going to check is if it's equal and last but not least we're checking if it's equal to yes if it's equal to yes let's move it to the right side and click ok so this is complete. So animal info medical pass equal to yes. Hit save and close to complete the configuration. So that's the first one done. The next thing you need to do is select this row. So make sure you click click on this to select it, and then add a step. And this time we're trying to update, right? So it says if the medical pass is equal to yes then we are updating the shorter status to ready for foster so we're going to pick update a record 
All right, then let's see. Okay, and so, all right, then the next thing we gotta do is um, click on set properties. And we're gonna look for the shelter status. So the place where it says shelter status, click on that. And we're gonna change this to ready for foster. And once that's done, just click save and close. So now we're saying is medical pass equal to yes. If that's equal to yes, update this to rent for foster. Now, once you click activate, click activate to activate your workflow. And if you did everything correctly, you will see it change to view properties, which is actually changing what you, the shelter status feel ready for foster and once you're done with that um we're done with workflow just hit close to close the workflow and after all said your workflow actually resides in the processes if you're trying to look for how to change your workflow you can find it here in the processes and you can go here and edit your workflow or add more workflows if you want to but while we're here um let's hit publish all customizations so we can demo the app i'm going to pause while that's publishing all right we're back and we have the green check mark that everything has been published so let's do a demo real quick let's go to our apps and open our model driven app and just hit play and let's go straight to our animal table and look for an animal whose shelter status so charlie's shelter status is in shelter so let's open charlie down and as you can see, um, currently the medical pass field is just blank. So once you click on that, you can see, you can see we have the toggle now. So currently it says in shelter. So if I click the toggle to yes, and I say hit save, what happens is the animal shelter status changes to red for foster. So it's and with that we have actually come to the end of the video thank you for joining me in this video i'll see you in the next one goodbye